a very good afternoon from inside Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's the first time I'm in the park this year. And let's be honest, it feels absolutely fantastic to be back inside this place. It was snowing this morning in Blackpool. There's a little bit of snow on the ground in the Grand National area. But you'd never know looking at that sky now. Yeah, it's very quiet obviously. It's February, it's cold. But yeah, we'll head that way. Look for anything that's happened. Which, to be fair, there's been a lot of things that's changed. So we'll cover them all in this video for the night. first ever time back inside the park this year. The flying machines are going enough. Is anybody on it though? I don't blame them in this weather. Oh no, there's, a, there's some people there in that rocket. I think, I think they're the only group on that ride. Well, yeah, let's head over to the Grand National because all that scaffolding's come down now. So repainting's worked. But yeah, there's a red train now in the station and some snow in there. So let's go and look at it all. Right, so here's a partially snowy Grand National station. As I say, it was snowing quite heavily this morning in Blackpool, which is very rare. It only stuck around for about an hour or two and then obviously the salty air and our humid uh, weather in Blackpool melted it all. But yeah, all the unsunned parts, let's say, have still got snow on, like snow on the ground. There's a little bit there as well, but obviously last year, towards the end of the year, we showed the purple train sat here. But yeah, red train's now here. There's nothing in the train at the minute. There's no seats. I don't think there's any restraints in them. Let's just move around here. Oh no, the restraints are in. There's literally just no seats in the train at the minute. But yeah, only red train has returned. Purple, green and blue, I presume, are still in maintenance because the ride's not expected to be open until at least spring this year. And also, obviously, where I'm stood now, there's all scaffolding here last year because they were repainting the roof. But you can see the top strip is all silver now and probably uh, watertight so it doesn't leak anymore. It was a very leaky station, uh, Grand National. But yeah, we'll move round towards the main entrance of this uh, classic wooden coaster. I'll just show you it from head on. Just give me a second as I walk around. There we are, here's a face on view then of the station. All scaffolding free at last. The ride just says today. I presume someone's nicked or it's blew off the closed sign, but it's just today apparently. Look into the station, nothing really you can see. There's a head round to this side. Yeah, completely empty. Nothing happening. Apart from that new paint I covered on towards the end of last year. So yeah, not really a lot to cover from inside the park at Grand National. But we'll head towards the south end of the park where all the activity is happening with the big one and other things like that. Down here at Infusion now. And it's very weird, isn't it? Because obviously during the winter season, you see that greenish fence down there? That's where I'd normally stand in the winter season and looking into the ride. But now, back in. Obviously that, that section of bridge there was normally took off. If you remember, we had that sewage water truck sort of here. You can still see its uh, time marks in the sand, to be fair. The lagoons all raised back up. No fountains or anything. I think it's a bit too cold today for all the water effects. Infusion is currently a walk-on queue on one train. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing any rides today. I'm trying to hold off until a big one gets back open. Because that is normally my first ride I like to do in this park is a big one. But yeah, Infusion back up to normal. Lagoon's up, bridge is intact. And yeah, it's a nice quiet day. There's something else though happening in the photo building just behind me, which I'll show right about now. Right, you've just seen some shots there of a new little grab and go food little shop in the infusion building. Just infusion grab and go. There's infusion, not infusion, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting mixed up here. Icon. Yeah, infusion grab and go, you just seen. Just a basic little quick shop like chocolates, drinks, stuff like that, next to the photos. But yeah, here's Icon. No spinning seats just yet. 
but they are coming later on in the year. I have no idea how many trains this on, but the queue is going out the station, just through there. But as I said, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing any rides today. Holding off till that beauty behind is back up and running the big one. Let's head that way and see what else we can see. Right, so here it is then, here's the current queue for Icon. All the way, practically back to the entrance. It's on one train as well, which is a shame. But from hearing from a staff member, the ride has literally just opened about 10 to 15 minutes ago because of the icy conditions this morning. I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess how long uh, this queue will take. I presume about an hour max. But yeah, not good. There it goes. Still a little bit of snow on the ground here at Icon. I don't think anyone's going to be riding Avalanche anytime soon because the train's actually uh, stalled in this final helix up into the final break from up here. We have got engineers on the case to probably try and winch it back up. But yeah, I think the wet and cold weather isn't helping Avalanche today. Which is quite ironic really, an Avalanche seems to bobsleigh, ice and cold. But it doesn't actually like the ice and cold, so yeah. It's stalled, it's not open. Right, I'm now in what I class as the best end of the park. Because obviously you've got my favourite ride, the big one. Just up there. Skyforth, obviously, towards the end of last year, was actually one of probably the first rides to be ready for this year. Because obviously we showed all the seats and the wings in the shop and in the far corner over there. But yeah, this, this ride, obviously last year, it was practically all ready to go on that final day of the season. But here it is now in, op in operation. No one spinning, no, no, one guy on the back. He's managed to get it going. But yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a true lover of this ride, to be fair. The ride before it, Bling, was a much more superior ride in my eyes. But yeah, here's Skyforce back in operation and also big one here it is inside the park for the first time this year without its track on let's just head over here to show you a better view of it actually I've actually removed the benches here so I can't actually look over the wall which is a bit of a shame but yeah here it is from inside the park so obviously normally I'll be where that van is on that side but yeah there it is all trackless and will be until Another good few weeks yet, I presume end of February. Then maybe start of March we will be back open. Yeah, it is a sad, sad sight not seeing the best ride in this park not operating. Especially a day like today because it would it would be open. There's no wind at all there. But yeah, it's just a shame really. There's another shot of Icon going around. But yeah, no big one. So let's crack on. Here's a look on crowd levels for today. Not busy for, again, a half-term Saturday. I presume it's just a cold weather putting people off. Yeah, nobody here, which is a shame, but then ticket prices aren't helping as well. It's like 40 quid for today, which is quite expensive, really, for like a six-hour day. Here's a look at Derby Racer. Back open, no boards up, no maintenance. It's good to see. And then we'll pan round to Valhalla and talk about that. Yeah, it's all deserted in this end of the park because I think basically they're all in the queue for Icon, let's be honest. Everything has a walk-on queue except uh, Icon with that 40 to 50, possibly an hour's waiting on one train. Is Ice Boss about to launch? Ready? There it comes. Still hasn't seen to be the most powerful of launches like it used to be back in its good old days but yeah anyway well Haller they put all these uh, brand new concept pictures up there's one of a viking in like a, a storm brave adventure there's the V with some fire on it so does that mean fire's coming back and on that one we've got a load of viking ships on some choppy seas so we've seen uh, 
I don't know, like wave machines possibly inside it? We don't know. But yeah, here's the reverse turntable up there. There's tons of scaffolding leading up to it, that platform up there. But I'm, I'm unsure as to what they're doing inside there. So even just fixing up that turntable, making it more reliable. Because it, it always seems to be the case that this ride would break down because of that turntable and the one just further in the building after you go down the backwards drop. But yeah, obviously you can't see anything from ground level and you can't film an ice blast. But yeah, it's all a mystery still, but it's meant to be open uh, summertime this year. So we'll check it out and give you a review what we think whenever it opens, but yeah. It's not the busiest of Saturdays, it's for a half term, which is a shame. So before we head back to the car to wrap up the video, We'll just show you through the car park, get the new big one track. Right, so I'm back at the Sculpture Gardens when I start the video. With Valhalla and Grand National being shot in this end of the park, it definitely makes the end have no atmosphere at all. It's very uh, dead, very boring. I mean, you can see the lack of people here because there's nothing really to go on in this section. You've got the Fly Machines and Ice Blast, Derby Racer and Alice, that's four rides in this area. I mean, obviously, come summer, Grand National will be back open, Valhalla will be back open. The, the two major rides in this end of the park, and obviously, there'll be tons of people anyway, so the atmosphere will be a lot better. But these February winter uh, days with the high prices for getting into the park, they're just dead. There's no atmosphere. It's, it's quite sad to be fair. Personally, I'd keep the park shut for February save yourself a lot of money to keep maintenance like keeping the maintenance guys in checking over the rides and then open first week in the march or possibly, or possibly when Alton Towers open it was like mid-march because they're just dead look at it I mean surely a day like today it'd be better not opening the park or any of these days in the winter not opening the park and just saving money because you can't be making any money on days like today surely especially when it's just season pass holders in the park but yeah that's enough moaning let's head out the park head back to the car and then just a little update from the first time back in the park for this year right i'm out of the park now just heading back to my vehicle and look in this uh gated off area remember all them ride parts were over there weren't they those old cars and old bits and pieces from old attractions they're all gone don't, i don't know where they've gone but yeah look new bits of big one track we actually get all close to it now because obviously the park's back open the gates to the car park are back open and yeah you get a good view of it here very good view especially when you're walking back to your vehicles in the car parking or on the parking on the street you get a nice good view of this at the minute yeah nice to get up close to it obviously this will be on the ride in a few weeks time and then the ride will be testing on these brand new sections of track and well there we are that's it the first look inside the park for this year for me it was nice to get back in the park for a nice hour or so there. I didn't go on any rides or anything. Because of the same. Holding off until the big one's back open to start enjoying the coasters again. But yeah, I'm ending the video here. As if I was doing an outside the park winter update. Just by the Grand National. As I showed in the park, nothing really to report on. Nothing to see apart from the red trains now back. But obviously all the other trains are not on the track yet. Crowd levels, they were pretty low. That's expected with the cold weather, even though it looks warm, looks sunny, it is very cold. Uh, ticket prices probably aren't helping crowd levels come in the park here either. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. It's nice to be back in the park, I had to say. And also, thank you for those who are giving me kind messages on my personal socials and obviously on the comment section in the last video as to why I explained why I haven't been uploading in a while. But yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with more if the weather wants to be kind like it is today. Because I'm not coming out when it's absolutely wet and windy. But yeah, thank you. Subscribe if you want to. And goodbye.